Well, hi everyone, this is Bob the Science Guy. You know, I got to thinking, originally I had planned to calculate the distance to the moon and the sun in terms of the diameter of the Earth today. I think I'll do that as a supplementary video afterwards. Let's just cut right to the chase. Let's calculate the diameter and the radius of the Earth using the full moon. So, if we have the Earth and we have a full moon, we find that the angular size of the full moon is 0 0.519 degrees, about 31 arc minutes. Now, that is over the entire orbit of the moon. So what we have is 0 0.519 over 360 equals the diameter of the moon over the orbit of the moon. Well, what's the orbit of the moon? It's 2 pi times the distance to the moon. So if we multiply both sides by 2 pi, what we end up with is 0 0.519 times 2 pi over 360 equals the diameter of the moon over the distance to the moon. Now we can solve for this. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's take 519, which is right there, divide it by 360. We could also simplify this, of course, times 2 times pi. And we come out here and we have, looks like 9.07. 9.07, but it's 10 to the what? Well, this is about 6.25, so that's about 3 over 300. So it's times 10 to the negative 2. That is the ratio of the diameter of the moon to the distance to the moon. Except in our very first video, we found the distance to the moon using the solar eclipse, and that distance to the moon was 384,000 kilometers. If we multiply 9.07 times 10 to the 2 times 384,000, what do we get? We get about 3,500 kilometers. That is the diameter of the moon. Now you recall from our last video, What's the ratio of the diameter of the Earth to the diameter of the Moon? So diameter of the Earth over the diameter of the Moon equals 3.6 over 1. So now we can just calculate this directly. We, we take 3,500, we multiply it by 3.6, and what do we get? 12,600 kilometers equals the diameter of Earth. Now if we divide this by 2, we get 6,300 kilometers equals the radius of Earth. And that is QED, demonstrated as requested. We have used the solar eclipse to calculate the distance to the moon. We use the half moon to calculate the ratio of the distance to the sun over the distance to the moon at 390. We then use that information to find the diameter of the moon and the diameter of the Sun compared to the diameter of Earth. And we found that the Earth was 3.6 times the diameter of the Moon, and that the Sun was 109 times the diameter of Earth. So, since we're on a roll, the diameter of Earth is 12,600 times 109 equals the diameter of the Sun. Whoops! Equals the diameter of the Sun. I'll let you guys do the math. So that pretty well covers it. This is Bob the Science Guy. Follow me for more. I will do a supplemental video probably in a day or two where we can find the number of Earth diameters out to the moon and the number of Earth diameters out to the sun. It's an interesting mathematical exercise, but this basically answered our question. So the radius of the Earth is approximately 6,300 kilometers. And if anybody asks you where you got it, tell them Bob the Science Guy told you. Take care, guys.